So here I am in Angel's Haven, home from the ocean, and I want to talk a minute about my environment. So I had someone say to me this weekend, gosh, I could never live tiny because you can't have anything. And I thought to myself, uh, I'm not sure that you would describe my house as not having anything. So, for anyone who has seen my house in other videos, you know that I had given some thought to how I wanted to arrange the writing loft. I'm now sitting in the rocking chair looking at the rest of the writing loft. I did have my desk where you see this little bookshelf and I really did not like facing the wall. So I moved it and now it faces a window. So basically my writing loft is now set up like a room. And as you can see, there's plenty of decor. There's a little cabinet. Uh, it doesn't uh, overflow with things, but it has stapler pens, some letters, bills, and things like that. Uh, under the desk is a little cabinet that has my internet router on it. I have a trash can, there's my angel shelf, more artwork, a bookshelf with mementos on it, my in-laws pictures, um, the Russian doll that Alan and Lisa gave me years ago, the music box that my grandmother Corley gave me, my mother's antique coffee container and vase, mementos. Behind me is the bookshelf. On the windowsill, there are still pictures that I haven't figured out where I want to hang them yet. And as I said, I'm sitting in a rocking chair. More mementos on the shelf, more art on the wall, mementos on the shelf my cookbooks which again have gotten in disarray because of the washer vibration i think that that will stop when we level the tiny house uh, as you can see i have plenty of spices china cabinet i have my crystal in the window over there that's a waterford crystal glass i mean uh vase two of them actually and so, to the person that said they couldn't go tiny because they couldn't have things around them, I think this tiny house proves that it is possible to have plenty of things. What you don't have is big spaces through which you walk. I have a little living area. Under me is the bed where I sleep. Uh, that is going to bear some design reworking. I want to make it so that it can push up into a couch. But once, you know, it's all a learning curve. I brought back two big suitcases when I came from Kansas City and unpacked them. I had plenty of places to put things. So for the person that asked me this weekend how I could live tiny because I'd have to give up owning things, I didn't really give up owning what I really wanted to have. I just gave up owning a bunch of stuff that I didn't really need. Here you see my favorite photograph by Genevieve Casey. I have a couple that's my favorite art by my son. I have plenty of things around me. 
everything I wanted, everything I needed. A printer, a computer, a desk, a chair, rocking chair. Yes, I don't have eight rocking chairs anymore. And as I said, I would like to have a sofa. But in terms of stuff, and I'm using air quotes, you can't see me. I have plenty. So I hope whoever asked me that question sees this video and knows that in my tiny life, I have everything I need. And if you decide you want to go tiny, you can probably have everything you need too. See you next time.